Hi there, my name is Linda Jenner and I am the owner of CrossBorderFitness.com and I'm an independent Beachbody coach. A good friend of mine asked me if I could do a video speaking on the topic of moms that work full time that are successful in their Beachbody business and I said absolutely I would love to talk on that topic because that's my story. I became a Beachbody coach in October of 2012 and at that point in time I was working full-time as a teacher. I have three school-aged children that are involved in tons of sports and other activities. I also was volunteering at my church. It was right around Christmas time or right before Christmas so we were trying to get ready for the Christmas celebration at church and I had volunteered to be a part of that. So I had a lot on my plate when I took on becoming a beach body coach but I knew I wanted to be successful in it but I also knew I wanted to be successful in it without undermining the priorities in my life which are my family so the way that I worked my business during that time was to carve out meaningful time each day and to consistently carve out meaningful time each day to work my business so I found a time that worked best for me and that time had to be meaningful and mindful. It couldn't be time where I was trying to do 15 different things. I couldn't be doing laundry, cooking dinner, helping with homework, and working my beach body business. It had to be time when I was laser focused on my business. So for me, I am an early riser. I like to get my workout done really early in the morning. So I just tacked on a little bit of time in the morning. I woke up a little bit earlier and I got done my work. I sat down with my to-do list at my computer and I was laser focused. I was mindful in what I was doing and I was motivated. I wanted to do well, so I made sure I got it done. I, I didn't allow myself to be distracted and I get it as a parent, we're often very distracted. It's just the life that we live. But I had that time when nobody else was awake that I was able to focus on my business. I also then tacked on some time at the end of my day when everyone was in bed and homework was done. Everything was ready for school the next day. I then could have some more very mindful time spent on my business. So what did I do during that time? I would hootsuite my Facebook postings for the day because I couldn't get on a computer while I was teaching. I would send messages to people, I would address envelopes for people with samples, whatever needed to get done on my to-do list, I got done. And don't get caught in the trap of you have a to-do list on Monday and you're going to do those same things on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because what you have to do on Tuesday might be different than what you have to do on Monday. So your to-do list will have to change as things that you need to do change as well. It's good to have a skeleton, but don't be afraid to stray a little bit if there's different needs within your business. The other thing that I found very helpful was as a mom that was often driving her kids to different events, there were things that I couldn't be a part of, but I still had to be there driving. For example, my daughter's dance class. We aren't allowed to watch, so essentially I was sitting around for an hour to an hour and a half. And I could have sat there and read a magazine, but I chose to work in my business, whether it was tuning into a Platinum Presenter webinar or listening to a wake-up call that I missed because I was at work, um, corresponding with someone, doing a coach call, whatever needed to be done, I had that hour of idle time that otherwise would have been wasted. So you need to find those pockets of time and use them. And I still had a life, I still had a social life, you know, my husband and I would still do date night, the kids and I, we still had tons of fun doing family things. Like I said in the beginning, my family is my priority and that never changed. Um, I just carved out the time that I wanted to use to work my business. So as a mom with three kids, a full-time job and volunteer stuff, I was still able to grow my business enough in that less than a year's time that I quit my full-time job. It is possible if you find that mindful, motivated time to focus each and every day, and it has to be each and every day. You can't do it for one week and then for two weeks flake out and do nothing. If you want to be successful in this business, you have to do it every single day. Okay, maybe not Sunday, but you, do, you have to be focused and you have to be consistent because to me, this business is all about helping people stay accountable 
And if I can't be accountable to my own business, how can I expect people to trust in me um, to help them stay accountable for their health and fitness? So if they're expecting to see you do something on Facebook every day, you have to keep doing that. You have to be consistent. So find your mindful, motivated time and make it consistent every single day. And whether you have five kids, 10 kids, two jobs, whatever, if you can carve out that time, you can be successful in this business. If you have any questions, let me know. I, you can find me on Facebook at Coach Linda Jenner um, or at my website, which is crossborderfitness.com. I hope you have an amazing day and I truly, from the bottom of my heart, becoming a coach has been the best decision I've ever made. I love the job and if you're thinking about it, just go for it. It is so worth it. Have an awesome day.